Hello everyone and welcome to Baron's Den for today's lore dive video. Today we are diving into the history of the famous human blitzer Griff Oberwald. Griff Oberwald is a name synonymous with World of Blood Bowl. Without a doubt, one of the greatest human players ever to grace the gridiron. In fact, he is usually within the conversation as to who is the greatest player of all time. The former golden boy of the Reichland Reavers and now captain of the Bergenhafen Barons is a five-time winner of the grandest prize of all, the Blood Bowl Trophy. A distinguished career that dates back 20 years. A phenomenal achievement to even survive that long as a human player in the bloodthirsty world of Blood Bowl. Now at the age of 37, many pundits thought his career was on the downturn. How Griff would go on to show them how wrong they were. Griff was just 17 years old when making his debut for the Reichland Reavers. He earned his place in this squad as a real trier, in the words of infamous Reavers co-head coach Helmut Zwimmer. It was clear that Zwimmer felt that he could rely on Griff to make up the numbers, but also commented that he was almost above average, obviously never truly believing that the young man would amount to much in the world of Blood Bowl. Surely this young pup would become another casualty to the brutal world of Blood Bowl, a blood stain on the pitch, and the Reavers would move on. However, it wasn't long before Griff would prove his old coach wrong. Very wrong. The Reavers fans first took notice of Griff late in his debut season in an AFC game against the Underworld Creepers. Griff performed a brutal tackle that saw the Creepers' star scaven runner get driven into the turf. The crunching blow broke the runner's nose and popped both eardrums at the same time. Griff then made sure he put the player out of commission with a crucial foul. He really stuck the boot in, smashing the poor rat's kneecap at the same time. Griff was sent off for his actions, but the fans didn't care. Neutralising the star runner meant the Reavers won the game, and Griff was credited by many for the reason for this victory. Driven by the rush of adrenaline he had felt in that moment, coaches began to see a marked improvement in Griff's performances in training, earning him a spot in the starting lineup in the following season. Griff never looked back from there, going from strength to strength with each passing game. After scoring numerous touchdowns and the odd casualty, Griff was awarded the Best Newcomer Medal in 2484. The very next season in 2485, Griff Oward truly went down as a Reichland Reavers hero. After a stellar AFC season where Griff finished as the division's top scorer, he would go on to participate in his first Blood Bowl Cup Final. This was a daunting task for the Reavers as they were up against a team with infamous Blood Bowl Cup pedigree, the formidable Dark Side Cowboys. However, Griff appeared up unfazed despite only being at the tender age of 19. He managed to score early on and went on to score the match-winning touchdown in the dying seconds of the match, sending the stand into pandemonium. Two years later in the 2487 season, Griff cemented his place as one of the most highly rated players in the world. Throughout the season, Griff's natural talent for the game shone through and he was lauded by fans and pundits alike. He once again helped the Reavers achieve their place in the final of a Blood Bowl 27. They took on the Norse team, the Van Heim Valkyries. Griff dominated the final, making numerous important tackles and commanding the flow of the game. He even intercepted a wayward pass on course to running in the winning touchdown. For his efforts, Griff earned the coveted Blood Bowl Players Medal and was promoted to become the Reavers champion and captain. Former coach Helmut Zwimmer declared that he had known all along that Griff would be a star, although most media outlets dismissed his comments as the ramblings of an ageing madman, still bitter for his sacking two years prior. For over a decade, Griff captained the Reichland Reavers with his exceptional leadership and grasp of tactics, guiding them to the Blood Bowl titles in 2491 and 2499. He became one of the biggest stars in Blood Bowl, although as he reached his 30s, he was not quite as spry and energetic as he once was when he burst onto the Blood Bowl scene. This mattered little as he replaced his youthful exuberance with outstanding leadership skills and a grizzled determination to win. He would go on to lead the Reavers to three more Blood Bowl finals in 2491, 2493 and 2499. 
They would win in both 91 and 99, making him a four-time winner of the prestigious Blood Bowl Winners' Medal. Then, at the end of the 24-99 season, Griff would go on to shock the world of Blood Bowl and break the hearts of Reavers fans. He announced he was leaving his boyhood club and making the move to the relatively new team, the Bergenhafen Barons. What triggered this monumental decision? He had just won the Blood Bowl Cup with the Reavers, and he was sitting on top of the world. Why walk out on his beloved team to join an admittedly up-and-coming team, but nevertheless a team with very little history or prestige? Some would go and say that Griff knew his time was coming to an end, and wanting to wind down his career with a smaller club. Some whispered that there may have been a falling out behind the scenes at Reichland. Those close to him suggest that Griff had grown stale at Reichland and fancied the challenge of leading a new team to glory. It can't also be ignored that he was offered an extremely lucrative contract, making him one of the world's best played, paid players in the world. Could Griff have done it for the money? Maybe there is truth to all of these theories, but the case remained that Griff was heading into the 2500 season with a new team and a huge challenge. Could Griff prove his doubters wrong, who believed Griff was starting to feel his age and ready to end his career soon? He would not only prove them wrong, but he would achieve something very special that year. Griff was immediately made captain of the Barons, and thanks to his incredible skill, they would go on to dominate the nobility leagues. Still pundits thought Griff had lost a step to leave the Reavers, so he was more determined than ever to prove he had made the correct decision. And where better to do that on the grandest competition of them all? The Blood Bowl Cup. Griff ended up putting in some of his best performances and the Barons shook the old world by reaching the Blood Bowl final in 2500. Here, the Barons, under Griff's guidance, an exemplary example, defeated the Thunder Valley Greenskins to lift the Blood Bowl Cup, which awarded Griff an unprecedented fifth Blood Bowl winner's medal, forever securing his legacy as one of the greatest Blood Bowl players of all time. To this day, the Blitzer has 201 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, 79 serious injuries or kills, and 14 sacks. That's it for Griff Oberwald. <laughs> what a player. I will be releasing another video at some point looking at how Griff as a player uh, plays within the actual game and what he can do for you on the pitch. Once I've done that, I will pop a link into the description. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed finding out about the lore of Griff Oberwald, pop a like or a subscribe to the channel and I can do this for another star player. If you have a particular star player you'd like me to do then, please feel free to mention in the comments. Otherwise, it will probably be Morgue next. Thank you again, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye for now.